guys, today we are thrifting again. Oh my goodness, I am so addicted to this and I just can't stop. We are at one of my local Venice and I just cannot wait to see what is inside. Now, I was utterly shocked because as soon as I walked in the doors, I saw this gorgeous wedding dress. Now, although it isn't the style nor in my size that I were to choose, of course, I couldn't help but have a look. It's only the natural thing to do. I just thought all of the detail on this was so beautiful and it was in such a lovely condition. It was only $100. It even comes with a veil as well for that price. I was shocked to see that one and then I realized they had a bunch and it just keeps getting better and better. So let me show you what's available. This one here is gorgeous, just the very classic plain white with a little bit of lace at the back. That's a hundred as well. A beautiful lace one here, new with tags. New with tags. This still has a tag on it. I just could not believe it. Beautiful buttons down the back and then there's the zipper as well. I just can't get over this, guys. New with tags, $100. This here is absolutely stunning. I love the style of this. It was clearly made with someone with a very gorgeous tan because the under color is like quite dark. This also had its original tags on it, which I couldn't believe. There was a little bit of damage, but that could so easily be fixed. It had quite a long train by the look of it. This one here is so gorgeous. This was actually in my size. This was a size six, which I could not believe. It is new with tags, new with tags. I'm gonna be saying this a lot, guys, because it's insane. It comes with extra beads if any repair work needed to be done. The buttons down at the back are absolutely gorgeous. And it was $150. It's not the style that I was really thinking for my wedding, so I didn't bother to try it on at all. But someone is going to get an absolute steal. Look how gorgeous the lace is. This one here as well in the classic ivory white. There's just so many options. I, I was pretty overwhelmed at this point and just flicking through absolutely everything because I just couldn't, I just couldn't believe the options. I couldn't believe what was on hand. Another beautiful one with beadwork on it, the buttons down the back, the gorgeous train, oh my good word. Whoever comes across these is going to feel like they have hit the jackpot. Any brides that are looking for these style of dresses, new with tags, oh this is another size six, which I didn't, I don't even think I realized that that was size six when I was there. Once again, it's nothing like the style of wedding dress that I would want. If you've been around for a long time, you will know I love a long sleeve dress. That is my go-to. Now get this guys, this was originally $3,330. It was reduced to $1,665. Vinny's is selling it for $200 new with tax. I just can't. These brides are going to literally be over the moon. I feel excited for them. I just wish I could have seen the look on their faces when they found these in store. This is a double up or a duplicate of the one we saw just before. This is another size six and um, my size once again, but just not the style. I really want a long sleeve wedding dress for sure, just because long sleeve is my favorite. There are so many options here. This one was really heavy and it had such a long train. I just turned the camera off so I could hang that back up properly. And then this is all of them in full and all their glory. I just cannot, I cannot, I cannot believe it. So many brides are going to be so flippin' happy. Now I loved this little purse. I like the over the shoulder cross body type bag. So something like this that you just wear on your wrist isn't really my fault, hey? So I wouldn't buy it for that reason. It did have a little bit of wear in the inside, like there was definitely some staining, but the outside was in perfect condition. I absolutely loved the beadwork and like the rainbow effect that it had on it. Very neutral, very coastal, very beachy. It was $30, which I think was a bit pricey, but it was very beautiful and very unique. You would not be finding that anywhere else. I guess they can justify the price for that reason. And if it had been a crossbody, I would have 100% brought that. It's so stunning. That one there was more of a 
hate to say it, but cheaper feel. Like, I don't think this would have been very expensive new, and they've got it labeled as $10, but the work on this one, this is quality, and oh, I just love it. Love the colors. Now, aren't these two just the perfect pair? These are absolutely gorgeous. They had home decor of the plentiful at this location. These are made to look quite rustic. These would look absolutely beautiful on a display as home decor, just to add a bit of a homely touch. These two here are really gorgeous as well. $3 for the smaller one, $4 for the bigger one. Absolutely no damage whatsoever. And then if you've got a gold statement in your home, this would be absolutely perfect. It is huge and would make such a lovely statement piece. This here is a little recipe book holder beautiful cream with the little birdies on it. I thought that that was really cute. That one there is $15. This set here is really quite funky, very retro to say the least. I think they've got about $20 per item on these though, which is super expensive for something in a thrift store. Like maybe $30 for the set, but $20 each, mm, I don't think so. This little teapot was ever so cute. I loved the style on it. Only $5 and of course you get the teapot itself and the little tea mug, very, very cute. These wire baskets here were $10 each. Once again, I thought a little bit pricey, but then again, if you were to go in store and buy something like this, I guess you'd be probably looking at $30 to $40. So when you compare it to that, $10 ain't so bad. Furniture wise, there was quite a large selection. Now, all of that I didn't really fancy, but this here I thought was really, really cool. If you've got a modern theme in your home, I think that this is really, really funky. It's really, really cool. It's actually new with packaging as well. So I don't think you can go very wrong with that one at all. And it was $50, which I'm sure if you saw this in a place like Harvey Norman, it would be a lot more than 50 buckaroonies. They had tons of brand spanking new furniture. I don't know the cost of the couches either side, but the one at the end here was $295. It had no arm on one end though, which... I guess that was the style they were going for, or maybe that's why it ended up in the thrift shop. I'm not sure, but this is literally brand new. There, there's nothing wrong with this furniture. There's not one stain, there's not one mark. It is new, new, to say the least. I, as I said, I just don't know the price of those two, unfortunately. They've got this one for 50% off. They clearly couldn't sell it at 345, which I can understand why, because I think that was way too overpriced. But they're selling this unit now for 170 dollars 250 That would make great storage for a kid's playroom. They've got tons of the Kmart vinyl in. They've got it for $4 a sheet. I'm actually gonna quickly Google and see how much Kmart sells this for. Well, 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 Kmart actually has it cheaper. So that spotty one currently on Kmart website is $1.50 or roll so uh yeah four dollars undoubtedly is an absolute ripoff for the anko book vinyl at symphonies i do find that with a lot of kmart items they can quite often be cheaper at kmart than in these stores especially if you're at a more pricey one this one here is usually pretty good for prices actually it's it's very reasonable i've got a lot of bargains here in the past but today is not one of those days. I think their prices have gone up a little bit for sure since my last visit. Now I wanted to show you when there's a lot of junk, it can be very overwhelming, but if you just take a few moments to hunt through, these are the goodies that you can find. These little storage containers are $4 each. They're really reasonable quality. They would just need a little bit of a soapy water wash over. That'd be as good as new. The one thing to bear in mind as well, even though some things might not be as reasonably priced as we would like for secondhand goods, this is very, very environmentally friendly shopping at thrift stores rather than brand new because it's not adding to the production. It is being reused rather than also being added to landfill, which is also something to bear in mind if you see a slightly higher price. This lunch bag was brand spanking new with tags. It was $5 for the cooler bag, which included the lunch box. I don't think you can go wrong with that whatsoever. Very cute space theme as well. On this shelf here, there was nothing much, so we just bypassed that one. I did get a little chuckle from this mug because gosh, these are so old school. They're selling this one for a dollar. 
I'm pretty sure we had some of those as I was growing up as a child for sure. Now this is a cheese storer. I thought that it would actually be really great for butter as well, just to keep your butter nice and fresh. Not that it's an item that I need, but definitely worthwhile if, if you did need it. And then this cute little picnic set I thought was adorable. Unfortunately, the blue cup is missing. So it's four plates and three cups, and it is $3 for the set. Once again, you could give that a wash in warm soapy water, and that would be as good as new. Now this is an absolute Deal. This is only $4. You would pay a huge hefty price for these if you bought these brand new. This one is only $2. So that would make a great gift for a new mama to be or um, for yourself if you're going to be a new mama to be. Definitely a little cheeky gem on those shelves. So when you see a whole bunch, it does become quite overwhelming, but you can definitely find gems hidden within the rubble. I thought this was quite cute, although it's not my decor style. The little power shell piece in the wooden container is very, very nice. And then these little trays for $2 would really be a cute little addition to the kitchen. Nice and neutral. And I loved this little trinket dish. This is such beautiful colour tones. And added in amongst other home decor, it would look stunning. Now, if you do enjoy thrifting, don't forget to give the video a cheeky thumbs up. Leave me a comment below letting me know your recent thrift Find. And uh, this is going to be the final item for today's video, a cheeky little metal duck. It's very weighty and it's only $8. Now I'm going to leave a video here for you to click away if you would like to continue shopping with me. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!